Hi, good morning everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are staying positive every day. Today I want to talk a little bit about the season of Christmas and how important it is that we be as loving and kind and patient as we can this season because there are so many out there that this is not a fun season for them. Either they're alone and they feel very lonely and depressed or they've lost loved ones around this time of year. So I wanted to go over with you the importance of how it is that we need to be there for all these people who are not jolly and holly and happy like we are. We need to put ourselves in other people's shoes and other people's situations and we need to lift those people up with kind loving words and just not words but good deeds for others around this time of year. So I wanted to tell you that I know this personally. I have a lot of people that I talk to daily who have lost a lot of loved ones at this time and I wanted to um, just tell you that I'm here for you if you need to talk to. I love you and I know what you're going through. There was a time a couple of Christmases ago where around the holidays I literally lost seven loved ones and it was the hardest year of my life to have to cope with that and come Christmas time no I wasn't too merry I wasn't too jolly and I just needed people to be there to comfort me just to say hey I love you and we're here for you well that's what I'm doing right now if any of you need someone to talk to please don't hesitate to write me because I've been there I know what it's like I've had many holidays where just anything and everything that could fall apart literally fall apart but you know what? It was the love and kindness and compassion from total strangers even that just helped me to deal with the whole season. So I want you to remember that not everyone out there has money to buy presents. It's not about presents whatsoever. It's about love. It's about just showing others that you do care and that they have someone to turn to in their greatest times of need that you're going to be there to comfort them. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that in a couple of months, me and my son Anthony are going to be doing some videos together, and it's an exciting time. I cannot wait for us to start doing that um, with my son. I want to tell you guys also that I realize that the law of attraction it seems to be the absolute hardest law for people to grasp. Let me tell you why it's so hard. Because the world is filled with so much negativity and so it takes a hell of a lot of positivity in order to manifest even just a few small simple things. And in a world that is just bombarded with negativism, we have to go above and beyond what we would normally do every day in order to keep our positivity high. We have to go above and beyond. We have to literally, every negative thought that comes in our mind, we have to instantly catch it. We have to instantly turn it into something positive just to, just to outdo all the negativism around us. Sometimes it's the negative energy around us that makes things seem a little bit harder to manifest in our lives. But I don't want you to give up. I want you to continue staying happy, continue raising your vibrations, because when you do, it is eventually going to pay off. I know this because it's happened in my own life. I don't ever tell you anything that has not personally happened to me in my life of what I've noticed. What I can tell you that I've noticed the most about uh, when it comes to manifesting things if you always focus on the things you don't have and the things you're unhappy with, instead of saying a prayer to the universe like, you know, I, I wish that I had more money. I wish that I would be more healthy. I want you to just say, I already have money. I already am happy. I'm happy now and I have money now. When you put everything into the now context, it's more real to the universe as if you're not lacking anything. When you say and speak things in the term of lack, then the universe is doing just what the law says. It's attracting more of what you lack. So if you are asking a prayer to be more financially stable, 
Don't focus on the fact that you're not financially stable. If you are wanting to have better health, don't focus on that you're not healthy. I want you to just turn all of your focuses into the now. You already have these things. You need to vibrationally lift yourself up to a point to where you are so high up there, emotionally happy, that it is like you are living the life of your dreams. When you get out of that bed, you if you wanted a new house, say, to live in, I want you to look around the house that you already have. I want you to just be so grateful that you have that house. And then don't think in terms of lack that you don't have a house of your dreams. I want you to believe that you already have the house of your dreams. I promise you that when you start putting things in the now, then magic really begins to happen. So I hope that I've helped someone out there. I'm praying for everyone to have a blessed holiday season. And like I said, I'm here for you if you need someone to talk to. You guys have a very blessed day. All of my light, my love, and my peace goes out there to everyone. Bye-bye.